Hey Funkaholics, how you doing? My name is Terry Welbanks. I am coming at you from my Dungeon of Funkos. I want to apologize to anybody that watches my content or has ever watched my content. Uh, I've been MIA for quite some time. Unfortunately, uh, between work, uh, the unfortunate passing of a, of a dear friend, um, I've had some family issues, I've had a whole bunch of uh, things just come at me. Car troubles, the whole deal. You think about it, and I've probably had it happen. So that's pretty much for my reason for my absence. There's also another reason or reasons, and I'll get into that um, as the video goes on. So uh, what I have for you guys, if you remember, I usually do unboxings um, of things either that I've done in trades or that somebody's been kind enough to send me or my pop in a box. I have some of that, and I'm also going to do what a few of my favorite pops are since I've been away, which has been, as I said, quite a while. So... Uh, I'm glad to be doing this video. I'm happy to be doing this video and I can't wait to get into it and I'm going to get into it right away and I'm going to show you guys exactly what it is that I got. Um, I haven't looked in the boxes. I've cut them open for time purposes. I just did that right now. So um, this is uh, box number one. I believe this is from Pop in a Box. It's from the Fulfillment Center in Kirkland, Oswego, Illinois, which is the United States. So I'm assuming that's what this is. I have no clue what it is. So I'm going to open it with you. And you guys will see what is inside of the box. Um, I'm assuming it's my pop in a box. I'm not too sure. Oh no! Oh, cool, cool. This is the uh, this is the Marvel Deadpool Venom. This is the pop in a box exclusive that they were uh, that they were talking about um, releasing. It was a pre-order thing. I also pre-ordered the Dorps. A lot of people that I saw on the Funkaholics Anonymous Worldwide group, um, or Funkaholics Worldwide. I apologize, the Funkaholics Worldwide group. They, uh, they, they, they said that their box quality was pretty bad, but this one's okay. There's a little bit of a, not an indent, but you, there's a little bit of a curve to the box here. But this is a pretty cool pop. He is a bobblehead. It's a Marvel one. So I'm really excited. That's awesome. Maybe the Dorbs is in here as well. I'm not too sure, but he is a really, really good looking pop. Um, a lot of people initially didn't like the look of it. I think that it's really cool. And I'm, uh, I'm excited to have it. That's an awesome pop. So he'll go behind me. Next up is another box. Um, this is also from the Fulfillment Center. I do not know what's inside. It's still packaged, so I will take this out and you guys will see first what is there. I'll pull it out. It's bubble wrapped and bubble wrapped. That's pretty cool. So, let's see what we got here. This is AT-AT Driver. Um, this is a Star Wars one, so it's not even for me. It has a cool underground toy sticker. This is the first pop uh, from Pop in a Box that I've got that actually has a uh, underground toy sticker or any sticker for that matter. So that's really cool. Um, we thumbsed him up because I know that um, uh, Amy definitely really, really wanted this guy. So um, that's awesome. She'll be super excited. So when she sees this, she'll be really happy. He's a really cool looking stormtrooper. Okay, next up I have this. This is also, I believe, from the Fulfillment Center. So this is probably Pop in a Box. So I get a six pop subscription for me that doesn't know. Um, so that means that that's one. So I'm hoping that there's five in here. Uh, and we'll open it up. At pop in a Box has been really good to me. Um, for anybody that doesn't know what Pop in a Box is, Pop in a Box is a subscription service where you log online and uh, you basically have to make an account and you go through and they have every pop under the sun that you can imagine. Um, inside of the, uh, usually what you have to do, once you log on, you have to go through, you have to go through every pop. Um, you can, you have to thumbs it up, meaning that you want it in your monthly subscription. You can thumbs it down, meaning that you don't want it, or you can add it to your collection, which means that you have it already and they probably won't send it to you. Now there's also an option just to leave it neutral. And if you leave it with no thumbs up, no thumbs down, no added to your collection, uh, there's a chance you may get it. So uh, if you watch my, my previous content a couple of videos back, I actually got, um, I believe it was a bad ape, I think, or, um, that, that I may have not thumbs up, not thumbs down because I didn't get to it in time. So you have to be very diligent. It's very affordable. If you live in Canada, uh, $39.99, I believe, gets you six pops um, with the priority shipping and all of their other options. Uh, if you're in the States, I'm not too sure on the pricing, but you can order... Um, you can order one pop a month, which would be a cool little surprise. You can also order three pops, six pops, or 12 pops, as far as I know. So with this subscription, you can order you can order those pops there. They send them to you every month. You do pay for it every month, but the best part about Pop in a Box is if they can't fulfill your order, they don't take your money. Um, it's an automatic renewal service, but 
again, very, very well worthwhile, especially if you like getting surprises. Um, I don't like the nerd blocks. I don't like any of those subscription boxes because when they come, they don't come with what I want. Even, uh, you know, like the old horror blocks and things like that. It's just not my thing. They never come with Funkos and Funko is auto, auto, pretty much what I want. So, uh, unless they're subscription boxes, which I'm still not subscribing to because I did subscribe to a bunch of them. Uh, but I stopped because they don't ship to Canada from their real web or from their own website, but they'll ship us the uh, Marvel box, DC, Star Wars, Disney, etc., which is bullshit uh, in my opinion. If you live outside of the states, um, I think you're pretty pretty screwed to order online unless you know somebody in the states, which I'm fortunate to know a few great people. But uh, I still can't like the Fye uh, Pennywise. It's never happening. So, anywho, um, anyways, let's get into the pop in a box. Let's hope that there's five in here. I have not looked in this box, um, so I will open it for you guys first and gals. Great folks out there. That's what I got. So we will reach in and start going crazy. Um, okay, I feel a single pop. I don't. Okay. Uh, I don't know what this is. I definitely Oblina. Um, Box quality is good. This is the Nickelodeon Real Monsters. Um, I don't know anything about this pop. I never watched the show. Uh, the box quality is really good. Um, it's a decent looking pop, but I definitely didn't thumbs it. I definitely would have thumbs this down because I, I honestly I don't know what it is. And to me, I collect pops that I like the look of. Uh, so I did, I wouldn't have thumbs this up because I this kind of looks silly to me. But some people probably love it, and I can use it as trade bait. I guess if somebody wants to trade for me. Or trade it let me know okay next one let's get in here okay it's a Punisher I have a Punisher chase and I have the regular Punisher so I definitely added this one to my collection uh, but maybe maybe it's a chase you guys have seen this this whole time I'm gonna turn it around definitely not the chase uh, but it's Punisher and I actually did a video way back when about the Punisher pops and this is an amazing looking pop uh, if you don't have this pop, I suggest you get it. It's really, really well done. It's one of the best pops that came out uh, in a long time. And the gun from the black eye, everything is so, so cool. So definitely grab this one if you can. The chase, I believe he's holding the Daredevil helmet, if I'm not mistaken. So, all right. Next up, we have, oh, uh, it's a big one. So it's either a ride or a six inch, I think. Okay. Uh, also, definitely would not have thumbs this up because I don't know what attack on Titan is. Um, it's a skinned woman. Her name's Female Titan. She looks cool, I guess. Um, it's big, for sure. Oh, uh, there's an Armored Titan 6 inch as well. There's the set for any of you collectors out there. Uh, I mean, it's a decent pop, and 6 inches are always fun to get, especially when you're, when you're only paying for a regular size pop, and everybody knows these are worth a little bit more. So, it is a, it is a pretty cool pop. I'll put it with the other 6 inches that I have. Still don't get the skinless thing, but... That's cool. I'll have to look into the lore of it. Um, okay, next up. So that's one, two, three. So there should be two in here. Oh, it's another it's another ride or a six inch. I don't know if rides and six inches count for two or not. I'm not too sure, but this is what I got. Uh, Gears of War Brumac? I don't know what it is. It looks really cool. I might have thumbs this one up. To be honest with you, uh, based on the looks of it and the fact that it's a six inch and I really like six inch pops. Um, wow, he is really, really well done. The detail's really cool. I don't know if you guys can see it, but uh, he's got a couple of guns, the mask. This is a really awesome six inch pop. So that's cool too from uh, from Pop in a Box. So I gather I'm owed one or maybe I'm not. If I'm not, uh, if I'm not supposed to be getting, uh, be getting any more, I don't know. I'm not too sure. So... Anywho, okay, I got one more box, and this box is from a great, great friend of mine. His name is uh, Seth Stallins. He is um, really one of the greatest people ever. If you get a chance to talk to this gentleman in Funkaholics Worldwide, please do. Find him. Talk to him. Uh, he's, he's such a cool guy, and he's amazing to talk to. Um, because of all the issues that I've had, uh, I, have a, th I believe this is a trade box, if I remember correctly. Um, Seth still hasn't received his, so I'm one of those guys right now, and it's not on purpose. Um, I've got I've got a bunch of folks that I'm sending stuff out to. I've got a big box for Sean. I've just uh, financially and everything else has just been such a downer right now, and I'm really trying to get myself um, fixed up with that and get caught up again. Uh, but 
it's tough. And I'm sure anybody that has a, you know, that, that, that lives on their own and does their own thing knows for sure. It's tough to keep on top of things. And, um, and it's not that I'm trying to not send the box back uh, or, or send boxes out or do whatever it is that I'm doing. Um, I, I just, I want to make sure everybody gets their stuff and I want it to be perfect, um, for Steve and for Jim and for Sean and, uh, Seth. And there's just, there's so many folks out there and for Steve, NYC Steve. So, Anyway, um, so I'm going to open this up. I don't remember what's in it, to be completely honest with you. I really genuinely don't. So I'm pretty excited uh, to see what Seth sent. Um, I know what I'm supposed to be sending him because I obviously have her Facebook messages and stuff. But um, Seth, your box will be coming to you within the next five days. I apologize that you don't have it. And uh, you'll get it right away, okay? Um, and I'm going to jam-pack that thing full of amazing goodies. So, Okay, cool. So first up. It's little figures. I don't know what it is. He probably sent me some stuff as a surprise, which is even the cooler. So this is a uh, DC. Oh, awesome. It's a little uh, nano. It's a little Batman. Uh, anybody that knows anything about me knows I am a super, super Batman and Joker fanatic. Um, this is so cool, man. I'm going to put this right behind me here. You'll see it uh, probably on the shelf there to my right, your left. So uh, yeah. Yeah. Awesome, thank you, brother. I really that's really cool and super detailed. I wish they'd make that in a big one. Uh, there is another small one. This is DC Batman again. Awesome. This is Batman a different pose. These things are so cool. They're so tiny. I wonder if they stand on their own without uh, having to glue them down or anything. Anyways, I digress. Super super cool. Okay, next up I have a pop, which I will unbox. Oh yeah, uh, now I remember. This is the Dark Knight Rises Catwoman. This is the one that I'm missing from the set. Uh, Steve, Steve Kilboy sent me the Bane. I've got the Batman. Um, I've got uh, Bane. Oh, sorry, I already said that. Uh, Catwoman now, I'm so stoked. This is amazing. Um, if anybody hasn't seen these pops or has this set, it's incredible. The Bane and the Catwoman are so well done. Um, Seth. You, you just completed all the Catwomans for me, brother. Thank you so much. I love it. I love this set. I love everything about it. So thank you, my friend. That's awesome. Now there's... Oh, there's one more thing in here. I'll show you guys really quick. It's a DC Comic Essentials. I, I don't own any of these, actually. I do own a, a Universe one that Steve Kilboy sent me, and I own a couple of the, um, the, the Marvel Legends, I think. Uh, but I don't own any of these, so I don't know which one it is, but I'm super excited. Oh, it's Batman. It's Batman. That's awesome. Wow, these things are just as detailed as the uh, Marvel Legends. Check them out. Really cool looking pop. Or pop. Really cool looking figure. Um, this is DC Comic Essentials. Collect them all. This is a big set. Check this set out, folks. Wow. And these things aren't cheap either from, uh, from what I know. I can't thank you enough, my friend. This is super cool and he is literally going right behind me. Um, thank you so much. I love it. I absolutely love it. Uh, Seth, you're the man, and I can't wait to, to see you get your box and everybody else to get their stuff that I am sending, and I apologize if you haven't got it because you are going to be getting it. Um, it's not for lack of wanting to. It's just lack of time. Um, but, you know, life's, life gets us, right? So, um, so anyways, I've got a few pops that, uh, and not pops that, that I've picked up um, during my time away from YouTube. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys these right now um, and just tell you why I like them and what I think about them. If you guys disagree, let me know. And I'd like to know what your favorite pop is that you've got in the last three months. Since I've been gone anyways, there's been a whole bunch of pops that have come out and there's a lot to choose from. So I went through basically the sets that I like and the, and the things that I've gotten and I'm, I'm going to show it to you. So the first thing is, and they actually made a Funko for this guy or he's coming. And I can't wait. He's probably, um, I would say, my favorite character uh, almost on Rick and Morty. This is Scary Terry. Um, and if you don't know who Scary Terry is, my, my name's Terry, obviously. So he's already, I can. This is a Freddy Krueger knockoff. Um, and if you haven't seen the Rick and Morty episode, it's hilarious. It's season one, episode two, I believe. Please check it out. Every At the end of every sentence, uh, he says, bitch, and um, it just makes me laugh. It looks like he's got a little testicle chin. Uh, he's got, uh, what are they, swords? I think they're swords for things instead of knives. And actually, Rick goes into detail as to how he's not Freddy Krueger. Obviously, 
it's Freddy Krueger, but uh, you know, Rick and Morty's hilarious. So these things are really cool. They're quite expensive. I think this was $14.99. I haven't taken them out of the package. I have seen them out of the package. Uh, it looks really, really awesome, and I cannot wait for that Funko. It's going to be so cool. So, all right, next up is a couple from the new horror line that has come out recently. I'll just show you them both at the same time. These are both of my favorites from the set. Uh, Tiffany was cool, and Jack was really cool. The Psycho one was awesome, the Bates. Uh, but these two are my favorite. This is Annabelle and Carrie. Um, now, the reason why I like these ones so much is because I, I remember when these things first got announced, uh, Carrie had a chase. So I was assuming that the regular was just going to be Carrie and then the chase was going to be Carrie covered in blood. We Everybody that it, that doesn't have the opportunity to get chases um, really was lucky because we were able to get our hands on Carrie with blood um, as, as the regular one. And this is one of the coolest pops. She's just drenched in blood. It's exactly like from the movie scene. Um, from from the Carrie movie. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's one of the older Stephen Kings. There was also a remake done, which was um, just as cool. There's a B on this box. That is super creepy, especially since I'm showing it to you. So, anywho, um, so this is this is Carrie. If you haven't picked her up, please get out there and pick her up. Really awesome pop. Next up is, as I said, Annabelle. Annabelle, um, I'm actually going to be watching Annabelle Creation tonight. Um, if you've seen it, don't ruin it for me, but this this is one cool book and pop. I believe Pop Culture has a bloody one coming out. This is my favorite one of all of them that have come out for the recent horror ones. Uh, if you don't have this one, it looks cool. The eye is fantastic. Uh, everything about this one is really awesome. Got a chip in her, chip in her chin, so uh, pick that one up if you can. Next up, I'm going to show you our three from the set that I really, really like, and I was, uh, I, I'm happy that I got the ones that I wanted. There's no Chase variant in it, um, which I like, and I like that that's not happening as often, but these are the Smurfs. This is Astro Smurf. This is Nap Snurf, and my favorite character is Gargamel and uh, Azrael. So these are the three that I got. Uh, I like the three that I got from the set. He's probably my favorite. He's a little bit oversized too, which I like. Um, but yeah, Gargamel is, is very, very well done. They're all really well done. They got that 11 underwater with, uh, with the helmet there, which is, which is awesome on Astro. And then Nap just looks cool. The paint color is really cool on him. I like that he's purple and I like the eyes. These pops are really cool and they're really well done. So the Smurf set and the other ones in there is Papa Smurf, Smurfette and Brainy Smurf, as you can see on the back, if you haven't seen them. I, I didn't pick up the whole set, um, one, because of, well, finances, and I got to be a little bit picky and choosy of what I like, and I also want to only buy pops that I like, so in the spirit of that, I didn't really care for the other one, so I didn't get them. Next one up is the, uh, is the one from Thor Rank Rock. This came out at my electronic boutique. It's a GameStop exclusive. This is Surtur. Um, I wish that he glowed in the dark. But this pop is really, really cool and super well done. Uh, I, I heard that the States is having a little bit of a problem getting these guys. I think that there's about four or five that I can get my hands on. So if there's anybody in the States that does not have him, that really wants him, let me know. And, uh, and I, I will do my best to get you one for you at cost plus shipping. But he's all made out of fire. He's got a fire sword. His skeleton's like, it's, it's almost translucent. He's got, this, he's got the skeleton face, got the horns. This thing is awesome, and it's uh, it's definitely one of my favorite pops that have come out in the last little while. So, if you don't have him and you're at all a fan of Marvel uh, or the Thor movie, or you just like the look of cool pops, that's one to get. Next up is the uh, ever so elusive for some reason can't understand why Pennywise from the new movie It. I saw this movie; it was good. They definitely needed more Pennywise in the movie. It was too much uh, Stand by Me for me, but. You know, that's just my opinion. This is him with his boat. Uh, Pennywise, this is a really cool looking pop. Uh, I like this one, dare I say, almost as much, if not more, than the original Pennywise, which I have. Uh, I do, my favorite one will be that FYE one. Uh, I will never get it. The Walmart one will never get. So uh, I'm quite happy with just this guy. I didn't, I, I pre ordered, but I didn't get the chase, and I'm okay not getting the chase. It's a sepia version of that. So I'm totally cool with not having the chase. The original, in my opinion, looks better, anyways. I like the detail. The paint sucks on the hair or on around his forehead, but still a cool looking pop. And uh, if you can get one, um, and I hope that everybody can that wants it, uh, because this is only the common, so I'm hoping everybody can get it. 
definitely pick it up. It's uh, it's really cool. It is really cool. So uh, the next thing that I want to show you guys is not a Funko. Um, well, it's a Funko product, but it's not a Funko Pop. These are the Nightmare on Elm Street and Friday the 13th vinyl. I gather this is a new line of things that have come out. I really, really like Jason until uh, I got I got it pointed out to me that he has ears. I don't remember ever seeing Jason's ears in, um, in in the movies, but the I think he looks really cool. Freddy, I don't understand the animation or Japanimation style eyes, but these things are pretty cool. The square bodies are all right. Uh, they're not Funkos, but at the same time, it's Freddy and Jason, and I'm a pretty big horror guy. I love the boxing with the blood splatter. Uh, the it's 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 cool. It's a cool little set, and it they kind of they should be salt and pepper shakers by the look of them. But I do like them, and uh, and if you guys have a chance to get your hands on the horror ones, pick them up because they're horror, and everybody likes horror. So, and the last one now, Sean. I don't know if you have this one, buddy, uh, but I want to make I you know if you if you don't have it, then the one that I'm holding in my hand is yours. I would like to keep it because I think that it looks incredibly cool. I don't know anything about this game. I don't know. I know that the characters generally, like the whole set has not, I've never seen one that I wanted. Um, there was a jack-o'-lantern chica, chica that I liked, but this one by far is my favorite one of the bunch. Uh, this is the chase variant of Funtime Freddy. I actually got him uh, in the wild. This is one of the ones that I got in the wild. So uh, I saw him and I picked him up because I didn't know whether or not Sean had him. And if he didn't, I love the look of it. And like I've said it several times throughout this video, if I like the look, I pick up the pop. So um, his face is busted open from the back and uh, it's all metal on the inside. Really, really cool looking pop. So anyway, Sean, if you don't have that, that one's yours. If you do have it, I will keep it. So um, really, really quick, something that I wanna to talk to you guys about. Uh, another reason why I haven't been doing videos, if, uh, if I'm being completely honest is, is that um, I, I, it's not that I've lost interest or my, my, I don't care about Funkos anymore. Obviously I do. Uh, I still collect them. I still go on my search every day. I still pre-order all the pops. I still do everything that I'm supposed to do to be a full-time Funko collector. The only problem is, is that, um, a lot of, a lot of people with their flipping, a lot of these exclusives coming out and a lot of the chases, to be honest, have really thrown me off and and have and have made me reconsider collecting because the chases in my opinion are super lazy all the chases that are coming out are super lazy and uh, and, and it's just not something that it's just not something that I'm really interested in uh, I want I want chases to be exciting and I want to get pops that make me excited to want to collect, right? As I'm sure everybody does. And it, and it makes it extremely hard to have that drive and have that want to collect when I know, like for instance, the uh, the bombshells coming out. The Wonder Woman that's coming out, that's an exclusive somewhere, is literally the exact same Wonder Woman, but she's wearing a red and green instead of her regular outfit. The Batgirl chase has, the, the regular one's black, which is better, and the chase variant is purple. And it's the same pop, even the Pennywise with the It. This looks better than the chase. It genuinely does, the, 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 at least in my opinion. The Chase variant is, it's it's just a sepia version of this. And that, and that seems to be the thing now, if they just throw a different color paint on it, that's what makes it the Chase. They're not they're not changing anything about it. They're not they're not really adding anything to it, other than, a, you know, they're slapping a different coat of paint on it. So uh, between that and and the, the flipping prices, I think I've seen that, that Chase Pennywise posted for 200 bucks or whatever. Not in Funkaholics Worldwide, which if you join, you're gonna see we we don't we don't promote flipping um, at all in it by any means, but it's it's very frustrating and it's very frustrating seeing some people um, out there that are trying to take advantage of others and trying to trying to take um, take people for their money and charging thirty forty fifty dollars for a pop that isn't worth thirty or forty fifty dollars because like I said at the end of the day everything behind me is plastic and that and that's the truth it's just a plastic toy. And they're toys, and I collect them for myself, for my significant other, for my son, for friends. So I get I get more fulfillment out of being able to pick up a fun time Freddy Chase and making sure that my buddy gets it. I also have a Hopper Hopper Chase. I think I think he might be right there, if I'm not mistaken. 
I just got him, um, so I'm going to be giving him to another friend of mine that really wanted the Hopper Chase because I, I like the Stranger Things uh, Demi Gorgon Chase and the Eleven Chase I really liked, but I don't collect the set, and I would be taking advantage of my of my collecting and my my limited space if uh, if I collected stuff that I didn't need, right? So hopefully I can I can get it to my buddy and he's really happy. Um, so with that being said, I am back. I want to do videos every week. I'm sorry for the delay. I can't thank everybody enough that stayed subscribed and has, uh, has watched any of my previous videos or commented or liked. Um, uh, uh, congratulations again to the giveaway winners. Um, congratulations um, to everybody that's taken the time to join Funkaholics Worldwide because it is filled with amazing people. Um, just even even the administration team and, and the people behind the group that have been there since the beginning that aren't in the administration team. It's like they're administrators. It's so awesome. And it is a really great group of people on Facebook. So if you're looking to collect Funkos the right way and you're looking to get tips, advice, there's no stupid questions. The only stupid question is one that you don't ask. Everybody's there to help everybody and that's what this community needs to be. Um, it, we need to continue to try to siphon out the people that are just here for money. Funkos is, I think, at its peak in terms of where it will be. Uh, they are now over making things. Um, you know, for example, instead of making a variant on the, the, the actual pops, they're making new things. They always have something new coming out um, from the Wacky Wilders, which were the first deals, to the, the big boy thing, which actually was the first one. It goes all the way back, and, the, and they're making so many different things, and they're spreading themselves way too thin, in my opinion. And I think that that's why they're lost focus on their pops. And, and their chase variants and, and making these things a little bit more um, accessible. And they're, they're, they're kind of taking the fun out of Funko. Funko is. And they're, they're slowly, I think, oversaturating themselves and killing themselves. And it's not as much fun because now it's just, it's not even a fun chase, uh, so to say. It's not fun. It's almost not fun for me to go out and buy Funkos now. Despite the fact that I usually get the ones that I want um, from the store, except for the American exclusives, blah, blah, blah. I know I live in Canada, but um, I usually get the ones that I want. And that's great for me, but I know of so many collectors that don't get the ones that they want. And I know their frustration levels are through the roof. And it just sucks. It, it sucks not being able to get three or four of every one of the, the pops that I can get my hands on to make sure that everybody gets them, if you know what I mean. So um, you guys are all great. Guys, gals, um, young people, old people, uh, I can't thank you enough. And I really appreciate it. And um, hopefully you'll continue to tune in. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please leave a comment. Say hello. Let me know that you're here. Also, please check out on Facebook the Funkaholics Worldwide group. Just type it in in the search bar. It'll pop up. Um, our avatar and our picture, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, is uh, Pennywise. So check that out. Join us. Um, say hello. Make sure you get to know everybody in the group because there are amazing, amazing people out there and I can't thank every single person enough. And uh, I hope that everybody's finding what they want on their hunts. If there's anything that I can help you find that you don't, that you maybe don't have access to, please let me know. Message me in the comments, say hello. Um, please sub if you haven't. Uh, like the video if you can. Dislike it if you don't, but I hope that you'll tell me why instead of just disliking. But if you do, that's cool too. And, uh, and thank you guys so much. Um, I really appreciate it. And uh, if it wasn't for for the community of people out there that I talked to, I would have given up collecting a long time ago. And I'm glad that I haven't because I do love these things despite the fact that they are just little toys. And uh, I but but I have I have more of an appreciation for collecting what I love as opposed to collecting for value or collecting for anything else. So thanks again, guys. I'm sorry for the long video. I'll try to tighten it up. I always say that, and uh, hopefully you guys will check me out soon. Um, let me know what you think of the video, and if there's anything you want to see or talk about that I haven't spoken about or you want me to recover, please let me know. Thank you guys so much. Much love. Happy hunting, and uh, stay funky fresh. Bye-bye, guys.